Hey everybody, welcome to another round of Kanji Plays, and today we're going to be getting into Lock Up, a role player game. Um, this is, so you know, you, I love the, the role player world that um, Keith Matejga, if I said his name wrong, Matejga, has built, uh, him and his team have built, um, and I've played every game in it, and I've loved every game in it, but this game has eluded me. And... What ended up happening was when I went to Gen Con, I saw their booth, and I went and I talked to um, one of the reps there, and I was like, I've streamed, you know, cartographers, I got a bunch of people to play, I love, I've played role player adventures all the way to completion, uh, you know, I love role player, I love the entire world, so I was like, but this is the only game that eluded me, and I'm curious, you know, tell me about it, and what ended up happening at the end is he gave me a copy of Roleplayer, I mean, of Lockup and the expansion. He was just like, hey, boom, here you go. And so thank you so much for, uh, for just, uh, you know, handing me a copy so that I can feature it on the stream. And, continue, and like, this is, this is, I guess this is a culmination of the collection because I have everything else that is in the Roleplayer world. I just didn't have this game. So it's going to be awesome. Um, so now we're going to play uh, Lockup. This is the base game by it. Usually in the roleplayer world, you can transition characters from the base early, early roleplayer game through all the different ones. This is different. You can't do that here because it's you're not playing a hero, more or less. You're playing one of the villains that, kind of, that, that, lost, the series, that lost in the war. So this one doesn't integrate with the other roleplayer games. However, uh... If you've played Role Player Adventure, you will know what we're about to see because you've been, you know, in one of the books, you had to, you were, you visited this location. <laughs> and I don't want to spoil that for people who haven't played the game. Let's just say you visit this location in one of the series that you play. So um, we're going to get into Lock Up. We're going to play it and we're playing it solo so you can all see what that, what those rules look like. I've got the book with me, but that does not mean I won't make mistakes. So we got the chat just in case for people who've played it before that can make sure being, you know, playing it honest and being right about what I'm doing. And if we both don't know, like I said, I got the book so I can dig into that and look and we can find the answers for sure. So cool. Enough of my blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Let's go ahead. And uh, before I begin, I want to say thank you to my Patreons, my YouTube subscribers. If you're neither, uh, thank you for coming and joining. You always got a space at the table. Uh, Helen, thank you so much for upping your pledge and becoming a, a, a devotee. So thank you so much for upping your pledge and Patreon. I really appreciate it. All right. Ah, let's get some information and down the table. Okay, Roleplayer Adventures uh, came out in 2019. Um, I think this was, this game didn't, a lot, flew under a lot of people's radar only because I, uh, there was another big game that came out the same time this one did, so everyone focused on that game because it was a big title, and uh, this one kind of fell by the wayside. But I think this one's a cool family play game. Um, it has a the solo mode is typical of solo mode for role player, right? So that means it matches, which means I like it. So so far it's been really good. Uh, but I got a seven point four on board game geek. Um, the strategy is not that heavy, but it, it's it's a it's a cute game. Let me say that, and you'll see what I mean when we play it. So the community says, well, it's one to five players, and um, best played with three or four. But we're gonna do it solo and see how it works out. Um, play time forty nine to ninety minutes, uh, and ages ten plus can play it. Be wait on this is a two point two, two point three two. Um, so it's not that complex to learn at all. Uh, designed by Stan uh, Perdonsky and a great group of artists, and published by Thunderworks Games, so this ought to be pretty cool. Uh, hey, Greg, what's going on? Hey, Fred. Hey, Steph. Hey, hey, how's it going? How's it going? Pull up a chair, pull up a chair. And so we are going to get down to the table and check this thing out. But a little, yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. <laughs> so I've got it all set up for solo play here, and we'll walk through all these things as we do it. But the story of this is when King Terran's loyal soldiers put down the Drogal invasion of Nalos, they threw the captured minions into Coolback Prison, where the enchanted gates and ruthless construct guards make escape all but impossible. Once every year, the king releases the toughest gangs of prison into the Royal Coliseum. It's kind of jacked up, but sure. You play as a squadron of minions, gnolls, kobolds, bugbears, goblins, or insectoids that were captured on the battlefield and locked up in Coolback. 
but in six short weeks, King Taran will visit the prison and he might give you the chance to fight for your freedom. Can you build a reputation and establish yourself as the prison's most toughest, uh, most powerful crew? That's the role of it all. So um, we've got st we've got the location board that's here. And like I said, if you've played role player adventures and you've got far enough, you know what this looks like. <laughs> you've built this map out uh, for what it looks like. Uh, so we've got, and I'm just gonna step through, that's why I'm flipping pages as we go. We've got our crew that's here. And I'll shoot down here. So our crew is the Goblin Crew. We are the Fighting 87th. Surviving members of the 87th Battalion of Goblin Soldiers, they amuse themselves by pitting factions against each other, building tensions to spark a riot. So what you get on here, this you on this sheet, you get how much resources that you can have total, right? So you can have a total of five. There are some cards that let you have more. Um, if you capture, if you, not capture, but if you gain any goons to your squad, the goons go down here and they give you an ability. And then if you gain any items, they go over here. So they give you some ability. This is the turn order card for round sequencing as well as final scoring. So that I'll have that there. And it's super tiny. It's super tiny. It's like, you know, I don't have any thumbnails, but it's a very small card. So people with bad eyes, uh, this is the goons deck. And I'll tell you about that when we get to it in a second. And then you've got your crew. So if you notice on this crew, there are different numbers on there. So this is a game of kind of um, uh, trying to outsmart each other in specific locations to gain best control of what of uh, the resources that are there. So this is who I'm going to be playing with. And you start off, you look up here, it has a red cube. You start off with one red cube. What those red cubes state is the strength of your crew. So you got this one token here that has a punch on it, right? It has a, and make sure I'm holding this up high enough. It has a punch symbol on it. How many red cubes you have is how much punch that is, how much power that is. You always start off with one, so it has one power, but as you build up red cubes, you get this, car, this, this one gets stronger and stronger and stronger. Um, for this one, with the one that you see with the eye, what happens on the board is that there is a bunch of suspicion cubes that get dropped around. That's these black cubes here. If you use the eye, which is the lookout, you don't take that, sus that suspicion cube for that specific area. It's going to sound really confusing, but I promise you it's going to make a ton of sense. This game is not complicated at all. So each area, and there are eight areas. So there's the exercise yard, the sewers, the infirmary, the smithy, the commissary, the chow hall, the cell block, and the library. You're vying for kind of control of those areas uh, um, to, for per round. So at the beginning of each round, that control shifts, right? It goes back to normal, then you do it again. And if you notice the, around, the board around, that's the scoring board. So as much points as you get, you get to move ahead and you're playing against the, piece, uh, the, the AI. I am the Gerblins. So since I'm a Gerblin, that's the, uh, that's, those are the guards. And the AI is the guard, so we're just trying to be better than the guards, basically. Then we got our round tracker with this crown. So there are six rounds in the whole game. You're gonna go through all six just to see how it sets up. And as I explain it, it's gonna, you're gonna be like, what, huh, what? But when we start playing, you'll be like, oh, okay, I get it. Um, so we also have the guard board that's up here. And the guard board, they start off with one power. They don't have any resources or suspicion cubes. And what happens is the suspicion cubes work is when it runs out, when you no longer have anyone like that, a raid happens and the person with the most suspicion cubes loses that much victory point. So you gotta be able to mitigate that stuff. There's an item deck that uh, you can craft items from. So you can, uh, the guards will also try to craft items as well. So they'll take the most highest point cards ones. For instance, let me grab a card that's not, has no green on it. I don't think that's possible. Ever. All right, there we go. So if you see on this one, the chameleon amulet, I need a gold and um, a blue um, uh, resource to be able to purchase this. It gets rid of a suspicion cube. It gives me eight victory points, and then that's a symbol I haven't seen yet, so I'll have to look it up to say what it means. So you get to craft these if you have the right amount of materials to craft these items. And you can only craft at the cell block. If you don't have a character there, you can't craft there. All right. 
as ooh, my gosh i cannot shuffle why why is shuffling hard for me okay so what you're basically gonna do shuffle up this item deck and then you draw the top three so we've got uh homing grapple okay an animated decoy <laughs> and a scrying scrying spectacles so if you notice on here and this is probably a good to show too if you notice on here it's going to cost one steel resource and one infirmary resource to craft this if i craft if i am able to craft this i'll get this item card i'll get nine victory points and i'll get a free tome from the library that i that i might be able to use that's how that works but I have to be in this location to do it. I just can't be like, oh, okay, I didn't, I didn't work or place something here to be able to get it. These tomes that are in here, these tomes that are here give you, like, buffs that you can use against your opponents. So you can see where this can work multiplayer really well, where you get to decide how it's going to go. What you want to do is when you set up the board for solo play, make sure that you put it on the um, one to two player side, because the three to four player side gets a little bit more all, all it does is it adds more items that's all it really does uh the re the rewards kind of get boosted up too okay all right i've run my mouth enough i'm just shuffling this up and since we're going against the cool bot guards we will build out that deck which is what you see here i have not played any role player games are they good solo role player yes i see no entrance to exercise yards or the sewers it's special. It's through the doors. That's what it is. The entrance is right here. So there's the there's the doors there. So you walk from the smithy into the exercise yard. You can go from there to there to there to there. And then from the exercise yard, you walk down to the sewers or from the infirmary. There's a there's a thing to the sewers. So there is entrances. There are entrances at yeah. Welcome, welcome. And Greg, to answer your question, role player the base game is fun. Role players, the base game with Monsters and Minions expansion is awesome, <laughs> and it's awesome solo. Um, so I highly recommend that if you're going to get the role player, the base game, get Monsters and Minions. It makes the game amazing. Um, role player adventure solo, yeah, it's fun if you play two handed. If you play, if you play true solo, it's going to crush you until you play to until you get strong enough so that you can be worth anything so uh, and for the fiends and familiars that one was okay it didn't really add much for me um more cards but monsters and minions is where it's at uh okay so goons goons how you get a goon is like if you're in the chow hall right you would spend yeah no problem you would, if you're in the chow hall if you are first player you spend any resource that you have that you have you spend any of those to grab a goon if you spend four of any resource and you and you won the first and you uh, won the chow hall you can grab two goons if you're second which in this game versus the guards it's either first or second and i'm in the chow hall i can spend two resources to get a goon so everything is pretty much spelled out. This is not a complicated game. All right, so let's place out some goons. So we've got the dwarves. The dwarves who are there. So if I um, if I get this goon, I immediately get a smithy resource, right? I know people give it names like steel and all this other stuff, but I'm calling it what it is. I'm calling it by its location. And... For the dwarves, for victory points, for how much ever, um, for every dwarf that you get, your victory points, as you can see, goes up and up and up to 30. So he will be the first to go here. Next up, look at that, another dwarf. Still, still waiting when our stupid publisher print out land packs for cartographers. Cartographers is so much fun. Cartographers is amazing. Yeah, I ordered it straight off of the Thunderworks site. I was like, I'm, I'm, I'm not waiting for anybody. <laughs> and it was, it was fun. Uh, we got, so we got the rat. Look at that. So we get to um, get rid of, and I'll read what that means. I don't know. There's a, there's a thing for that. Also, the one thing that I didn't show you was down here. You see these? That means the area that these goons are put down these suspicion cubes. That's what that means. 
if I ca when I catch the first rat, man, minus three. But the more that I get, it builds back up to twenty five. So that's gonna suck. And when I place uh, suspicion cubes, you'll see what that means. Just want to make sure I diversify and another rat, man. I shuffled this. I swear. Let's see here. Another dwarf. <laughs> All right. So we'll put the goons over there. All right. So we gotta put suspicion cubes. In none there, two here, none there, two here. So that's an interesting spread. And I believe I shuffled that. All right. We have uh, leader goals that we want to get to. So you just shuffle these up and just grab one. You. You look good. So it says most valuable. Take this card if you currently have the most shield, blue crystals, and green crystals, minimum of three. Uh, we'll get eight points if we do it. There are, are there like seven dwarfs? <laughs> I know, right? Uh, so you get one end goal, one leader goal, and one end game goal. Only dwarfs and rat men. There are other cards in there, are other goons in there, I swear. I shuffled the deck, you saw me. So the Smith, at the end of the game, have the most items with an iron cost, and you get eight. Second player gets four. So those are our goals that we're going to go for. Let's talk about the guards. This is the default guard deck. And it has, if you notice on here, you see the blue. That lets you know that it's default. So that's their strength in those areas, right? If you want to play normal, you grab the green deck. If you want to play, mo uh, this is moderate, this is difficult, you grab this one, and this is insane, you grab the red deck. I'm not playing insane. I'll play insane later. But between these two, let's go with normal. We'll do normal mode, and then, what, so you grab the green and then you shuffle it all up. And these are the guard cards. <laughs> So I did guns, did the active guns, the suspicion tombs, did thug, crew decks, crew tokens. Uh, just make sure I didn't miss anything. All right, cool, cool, cool. Okay, so what you're going to do, shuffle these up, give these a good shuffle, and then you're going to place one face down in every room. So here, here, here. Here and here, except for the library. No one goes to the library, ever. So I've got five cards left, right? So I'm gonna put those five over here. And then these are the locations that guards are gonna come by to help each other with. And then I'll explain gameplay. So we're, we're pretty much all set up, so let me shuffle this up. And these cards are gorgeous, they're just tiny. So I'll put that up, so this is the location back that they're going to get reinforcements at. Okay, so this game is played over a series of a series of turns during a, or one turn during a series of rounds. There is the roll call phase where you assign tokens to locations to try to get the person with the highest amount of uh, token, num the highest amount of numbers, the highest number, shoot, in a location wins that location, okay, and gets, and gets the spoils of that location. This one gives green, blue, um, this one gives steel, this one gives wild, this one gets goons, this one lets you build stuff, and then if whoever loses goes to the library, and the person with the highest library, uh, the her person, the person, the, dang it, the team with the highest number in the library gets one of these library books. Gets two, chooses one. The second highest gets one, just straight off the top. Like I said, it sounds confusing as hell. I know I'm blabber blabbering on, but we're going to get into it and play so you can see what happened. Um, every, all these things are going to get re uh, resolved in, turn in proper numbering order. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we'll deal with eight at the end. Okay. So let's talk about how we're going to start this off. Well, this seems like a pretty cool thing to build. We just need one of these and one of these, and then we can build it. But I need to win this, because only first player gets those items. 
this needs a green to get it, but there's two suspicion on there. So that means if I put anyone in here and we lose, I take these two suspicions. So how you get two suspicion tokens is you lose in a place with suspicion. How do you not take it is you win or you place this lookout one with the with the eye where you don't take it. If neither of you, if both of you have that, um, the eye, then nobody takes it and it sticks around for another round. Okay, so this is worker placement 101. Well, I wanna build that, but this might be good. This gives me, no matter what, even if I win or lose, I'll get it. You reveal the guards, so it's kind of like you're walking around and you reveal the guards to see where you wanna go. So um, he gets the first player token. I'm gonna reveal the exercise yard first. So this guard has a three strength. So right now, the exercise yard has three strength. Um, I'm gonna put the lookout in the sewers only because I don't want those two and I might end up placing something there. Um, so then we go to the guards. They're gonna be placing someone in the infirmary. So, and you get to reveal this. So they've got a lookout in the infirmary plus whatever is there. Okay. I'm gonna reveal. So revealing them slowly helps you determine like what you're gonna see. Holy smokes, that's a five. And if we tie, they have the first player token. So therefore tiebreakers, the first player, the person with the first player token wins. So they're gonna put somebody in the commissary. It's just a one pointer because it's the fist. Ah. Oh wait, I was supposed to put somebody down. <laughs> I forgot to put somebody down when I revealed him. See, I'm terrible at this game. Um, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put a two in the infirmary, then that guy would've come out, so now it's my turn. Right, I revealed him, put him there. I revealed him, put him there. And then I gotta reveal somebody now. Let me reveal the cell block. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. I won't be able to craft anything right now. So I'll put. I'm gonna put a five in the exercise yard. I want the first player token. Then we're gonna put the exercise yard. Who do we got? Who do we got? Who do we got? Oh, thank goodness, yes! So I'm gonna win the exercise yard. They can only have one on there. But now I can say I'm gonna put, and you can put up to how many ever you want in one area, but you can't, you, I can't say, okay, I put the lookout, so now I'm gonna do the three. You have to put them all at once. So I'm gonna put both of you in the smithy for a seven. Beat that jerk. All right, what do we got? Off duty, do not place a, a guard card, sweet. And then I'm gonna end it off. So I'm gonna get, if I win this, I'm, I'm, I should be able to craft what I want. So I'm gonna put this one guy in the cell block. E. So it's assign my crew, final location, the sewers, which is gonna be a four. Okay. All right. Then we do, um, so now we do the patrol phase, not the patrol phase, sorry. Yeah, now we do the lights out phase. So we start in order. Well, I have five here. You have three plus the lookout, but there's no suspicion tokens. So I'm gonna take the first player token and I'm gonna get, a power cube. So now my punch guys work two power. They lost, they go to the library. I get my, my crew back. Number two is the sewers. We reveal, we both had, we both had lookouts, so no one's gonna pick that up. Um, but I lost, so I'm gonna go to the library. They are not. Losers go to the library. Okay. 
And we give it, so they get two green resources. I get one because that's what this says. Then we come up here. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, I won this. So they're going to go to the library. And I get my crew back and I get two blue resources. Okay. Then we come up here. Well, I crush this guy, so he's going to the library. I get my crew back. Um, and they get the suspicion tokens because they lost. And I get two great two uh, steel resources. So now I'm at max, so I can't get any more resources. Uh, this one here. So only lo yes, only losers hang out in the library. So this is one plus your one red. So they would have won this. Now with this, since they won and they got first player, what they're going to do is they're going to take the re the low the resource that they don't have the lowest one. And if they don't have the lowest of any, the first thing they go for is gold. So they get a gold resource. Then this guy, minus one, but one, so it would be a zero. But you still win it. <laughs> you still win it. It's minus one, so it would have been a zero, but nobody's there to fight this guy. So he can spend the resource to gain a goon, which he will. Um, he'll gain the highest cost goon, which will be this guy. So he'll spend a green resource. This will be his goon. So he gets a goon. And he won. And he doesn't take that. I believe he doesn't take that suspicion token. Uh, let me check. Uh, lights out phase. If there are any suspicion cubes at a location, a player with the most strength gains all of those suspicion cubes, putting them on their cru uh, crew board. However, if that player's lookout is... Okay, so it's the person with the most. So since I won the smithy, I would have gotten it. He would have gotten one. That's it. The most strength gets the suspicion. Okay, cool. Makes sense. So I would have gotten those two for winning this, but he gets that for that one. Then for this, one strength versus one strength, we tie... But I got the first player token, so I get to um, craft something, and I'm going to craft... I can craft the animated decoy, and if we look at this... But we want the steel ones, so I'm going to use one steel and one blue. You get this, which gives me nine. I go to 19. Oh, and he would have gotten this, he would have gotten that for his goon. So that's my item that I got, and I get one of these, which says, substitute one required resource cube when crafting an item. So I can use this whenever I craft an item. So that's an ability that I get. Uh, since I have first player, you go to the library. Oh, but you get to craft as well, and what he'll do is he'll grab the highest cost one. Because he, oh, yeah, first and second. So he has to spend the resource um, to craft something. And he will craft the highest score thing. He sucks. But he can't afford this, so he's just going to take it upside down, not get the score for it, and that's it. Then we come to the library. And, of course, you know, he won. He's got, like, five, eight, nine to my nothing. So um, he doesn't take one of these. Instead, he gets a victory point um, for winning that. And I just have to grab the one off the top because I'm there. So Atlas of Hideout. Secretly look at one face down crew token. Okay. And then I get him back. That is a round. What you do is you get rid of the, le the rightmost goon, slide the rest down. Draw a new goon. Another freaking dwarf. <laughs> okay. Um, then you should reshuffle. You put down suspicion cubes. You here. 
to here. And that's it. Rinse and repeat. That is, that's it. So we'll go through another round. So you'll be like, okay, well, this either was super easy or did I miss something? So we'll go through another round because that might have been a little bit convoluted. And yes, I'll refill the item deck in a second. I'm just shuffling all these different cards. Move that up. Boop. Boop. All right. Do I move it up? Roll phase. If there are any empty spaces and I've refilled them with new cards from the top of the end, but yep, yep, so we did that. Advanced goon cards, add suspicion cubes in the new locations, and then keep it rolling. Rolling, rolling. Alright, so boom. Pull this up. So we're in round two, and then it's it's basically a, a race to the score um, type of thing. Hey, Azariel, how's it going? Welcome, welcome. Oh, Jerry, Brian, what's going on? What's going on? Edgar, how's it going? All right. So I have the, ha ha, I start first. So I start first. Um, I am going to, what do I want to build? If I get, I get, I, I need to get that or that, but this is a 12. I need to get some gold. If I win the commissary, I can get any resource of my choice. So I can get gold that way. I don't know. Let's see what's going on. I'm going to look at, I want to keep first player and build my strength. So let me look at that first. A four. Oh, heck. Um, let me put my lookout back in the sewer. Because that, that gives me a green no matter what. And the person with the highest strength is going to take the suspicion tokens. So if I lose that, that doesn't hurt my feeling. Um, so then we reveal the chow hall is going to have a one in it. Let's take a look at the commissary because I need some gold. It's a one strength there because they only have one red cube. Um, I may put a three in there. I put a three in there. See if I can get. It. I want more than a three. Yeah, let's let's risk it. Next location is the infirmary. It's getting a lookout. Shoot. If I go to the infirmary, if I win it, I get those suspicion tokens. Um the exercise yard. I want to keep it. So I'm gonna make it a five and a punch. So that because I have two, that makes it two, so that's seven. Who do you got? You got the commissary. Here we go. Who do you got? Oh, hoo, hoo, hoo. that sucks. Hey, Stacy, how's it going? That is awful. Okay. Let me reveal the smithy. Three. All right, let's end this. I don't. I don't feel like filling this out. Um. I will be able to get two and then spend those two to get a gold, but I need to be able to buy something. Shoot, I'm gonna put the four here. Can't end it just yet. Then let's take a look at you. Okay, so that's a lookout. Off duty, and I end it. And I end it with the two for the win. Okay, so, so we don't pull anymore. We get to see what's going on, so let's take it in order. Four, but I got seven, so I win this. I get another red cube. So my punch guy now is up to three strength. I come here, and you take your nerdy behind the library. Then number two. Wow. 
Oh no, did I win this? Oh no! <laughs> so I have a lookout, which is zero. He has zero. <laughs> and But I have the first player token. So I win this, I get two suspicion, and I get two green, and he gets one green. That did not work out any way that I wanted it to. So I'm full up. Oh, that did not work out any way that I wanted it to. That sucked. All right. Um, here, you are the strongest here, for sure. So you're going to get these two suspicion cubes. I beat you here, so I get this. You go to the library, and I get two of these. But remember, I'm full, so I have to discard what I don't need. Um, I'm going to get rid of a green and a green. Here, you destroyed me, so you're going to take these suspicion cubes. <laughs> Thank you. I'll go to the library. I'll be more than happy to go to the library there. And then you grab these. Uh, you got one dwarf, so you're going for the next. And you would get a book, but you won't. Instead, you'll move one. Okay. And you don't go to the library. Then uh, look out, but I beat you here. So you'll go to the library. I come back. And I get to craft. Uh, I get to craft first before you take something. So. Oh, I forgot. Uh, when I lost the commissary, I forgot to spend my two to get my gold. Sorry. I just threw myself in the library. I forgot to spend my two to get my gold. Okay, so now I will do a green, a blue, and a gold. I'll spend those resources to get this lovely, lovely, lovely transmutation gem that gives me 12. Yay. Okay, um, and let's see what that symbol means. All right, so, uh, exchange resource. The player may immediately exchange any one resource cube on their crew board for another resource cube from the supply. Nah, I'm good. I'm good. That will be my next item. And we're moving on up. But you get to craft something too. Um, and this one you could do. You just need three resources. You spend this, this, this. You get this and you'll get eight. Uh, what's that? 20? Take you to 20. You get an item, and your stock goes up, but they don't have, they have an unlimited resource stock, so it doesn't matter. Then we come to the library. Of course, you know they were winning. They got seven, I got five. So they will get poop, and then I will get just a straight pull. Take one scrap cube, which is what the smithy thing is, or potion cube, which is what the infirmary is, from the supply. Uh, I may end up using that pretty in short order. Okay, so solid. Shift, shift. A raid is coming. Draw a new goon. Hey, look, a new goon, a bandit. And this bandit has a suspicion cube and a green cube here. You will have, uh-oh. So two here. We would go for two here, but now we can't, so there's going to be a raid. Um, raiding. When a raid is initiated, all players with at least one suspicion cube compare the number of sp suspicion cubes they have with, uh, with uh, they have on their crew boards to see who will lose reputation for attracting the most suspicion from the guards. The player with the most suspicion cubes immediately loses eight reputation stars and the player with the second uh, most suspicion cubes immediately loses four. Adjust, uh, adjust the reputation track on a marker. If there is a tie, um, each tie player loses four, uh, and no one loses reputation stars for having the second most. If there's a tie in the second, each player loses two. 
So after the reputation stars have been subtracted, return all suspicion cubes to the board. So you've got two, four, five, and I've got four. So you lose eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and I lose four, I believe. Yep. One, two, three, four. And then we put all the suspicion cubes back here, and then we fill it out. So it's always good to stay ahead of the guards. Always good to stay ahead of the guards. Or stay behind the guards, should I say. All righty. Okay. We're doing all right. We're doing okay. So you can see how this game can be really, really fun multiplayer. Solo play is still fun. You're just playing kind of against yourself in terms of strategy to get the highest score. But multiplayer, this game, that, that's where this game really shines. Um, since when in multiplayer, instead of putting down, say, okay, I'm going to play this five here, you place your, you place your item upside down. And then when you do uh, resolving, you flip everything up to see what's there. Okay, so let's place our guards out. Ooh. All right, maybe I should start working to get some of these things. I have the first player token, so I go first. Um, oh, I forgot the reef three up. Effective charm and stars of throwing. which means I need to win these two to be able to get the protective charm, which has the highest points. And I need that symbol that's on there. And I need that symbol that's on there. He won't take this because that's a seven and there's an eight in its place, but he will take that. And I would like that a lot. Okay, so let's, uh, let's play this out. I want these two for sure. So I'm going to reveal this guy, a one. I'm really going to push for this win. I'm going to put the lookout and the... Uh, no, I would have to take the suspicion cube. This time I have to take the suspicion cubes. I'm going to put a three there. Uh, we reveal in the sewers. Oh, come on! See, it's an exercise yard. Look. I'm just going to put the punch guy in there. Because that's three right now. We got infirmary. Just got one strength. I'm going to put the four in there. And exercise yard. Oh, I want it. Oh, OK. I still got first player. OK, then I will reveal. Maybe it's time to start getting some goons. So I'll reveal the chow hall. I'm going to put, I don't want this, I don't want those two cubes. I'm going to put the five in there with the lookout. We got commissary, zero. And then we want to craft, so I'm going to put one here. Off duty. Okay, cool. So we're done. This last one doesn't get placed, which probably would have been the cell block. Oh, it could have been the smithy. But let's do this. So my fight, which is three, I beat this one. So I still retain it and I get another red. So as you can see, the punch guy gets stronger. <laughs> you go here. So now I'm at four. So I can, I can do some stuff. 
Uh, he won this, so he will get this resource in the Suspicion Cube, and he will get two more greens, and I'll get a green, which is maybe what I wanted. So he'll go back here, I'll go to the library. Um, all right, let's see how this works. So it's one minus one, which is zero, one. I won the infirmary, so I get two blues. This is working out, this is working out. This is working out, so you will go here, back. Uh, this, you're four, you get those two suspicion cubes, but you also get two of those. Uh, here. You won this, um, so you get two, you get one resource that you don't have, which once again, it's a gold. I won this, but I have my lookout, so I don't get the suspicion cube, so he does. <laughs> That's why the lookout's awesome. And so, um, he will get, he will spend two resources to get a goon, but I could spend one to get uh, a goon. So I'm going to spend this blue, and I'm going to grab... I'm going to grab this dwarf. Grab him. So he gives me one of these, which is textbook traps. During the roll call phase, skip your turn without passing. Okay. And he, so far I'm going to get one. Well, at the end of the game, we total it up. So he will get, he has to spend two resources to get a goon. He's going to spend these two. And he will continue his massiveness of this. And he will get rid of... What is that symbol? Yeah. The player moves one suspicion cube from their crew board to the crew board of another. You suck. Okay. And you lost, so you're going here. Then the reveal. Oh, he goes first. You... Urgh. Wait, you don't have a blue, but you are going to take it. Can you craft this one? Nope. You're gonna take that away from me. And I can't craft anything. What I can do is I can spend one resource to, to take one of those off the board so no one can get it, but that is garbage. But I'm not going to. Oh, that was round three, sorry. Then move the round tracker. Uh, so. Let's resolve this. I've got five. He's got three. So I won this. So I draw two and pick one. We've got Worgens and Wardens and Coolbach Luke. Coolbach Luke. During the roll call phase, lose one reputation star to give one of your suspicion tokens to an opponent. You may assign one crew member token to a location where you have one. Ooh, that would be cool. And then this one goes at the bottom, and then he just gets one. For that. You have two cards. You can craft anything. You have two cards for that. Well, no, that's not true, Edgar. You have to be able to... I can spend a resource, and we'll look this up. From what I read, I can spend the resource to take one, but I cannot craft... I cannot craft anything because I need two steel for this, or two for that. But let's check. Let's check. I could be wrong. I've been wrong before. And I will be wrong again. Uh, crafting page 14. Items can be crafted at the cell block. Only item, only item cards that are face up in the item display or item cards that have been previously reserved may be crafted. Crafting items. To craft an item, a player selects an item card either from the item display or an item card they have previously reserved. Then the player must spend resources equal to the card's resource costs and place the card in their play area face up. Finally, the player immediately scores reputation uh, stars equal to the item's reputation value and carries out any special things. He is supposed to lose a resource for grabbing that card anyway. Forgot to do that. Reserving a card. To reserve an item card, a player spends any one resource cube, then takes an item card of their choice from the item display and puts it face down in their space area. There is no limit to how much you can take. So you said you have two cards for that. It might be these. Let me see. I think that's what he's talking about. Take one scrap, secret, so this one says substitute one required resource cube when crafting an item. 
So I can get the, oh, I can get the eight. I see what you meant, sir. I see what you meant. I can get the eight and I'll do that. I'm gonna spend this and then I will grab the eight score. So I will substitute a blue for this and spend my blue and my green to get this eight. I see what you meant. I see what you meant. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I get rid of a suspicion cube and I got my green. Yeah, I saw what you meant. My bad, my bad. So this goes away. I'm gonna put this over here so I don't accidentally grab it. Uh, this one says take one scrap cube or potion. Let's hold on to this one that's there. Yep, I got it. I'm on it, I'm on it. Get rid of the leftmost of this guy's out. Slide these down. And then draw some more goons. We got a, ho a hobgoblin. Uh, score star for, ooh, I want, I, I need to get that hobgoblin. That's gonna be fun. Uh, another rat man, which you've seen. And a cultist. Score stars for each item you have, which, and, but, and get a gold for it. Ooh. Okay, we moved around four. I see what you mean, it's uh, picking up what you're putting down. Okay, fill the item back. We've got the Unk Shank. Ooh, wow, these are some big pointers now. Okay, and this one lets you, this one gives me the final symbol I need to grab that most valuable. Take the card if you currently have the most valuables. I do because he can't craft either one of those. I just need to get any one of these. The 14 one would be clutch. I just need to get gold and a blue. I could take a scrap cube, which is the smithy. So I got that. I just need gold. So I need to win the commissary. And I need to get a blue to get that. Okay. Suspicion cubes. None. One. And a green one, two, and two. Okay. Hmm. Sorry, my brain's working through something. Okay. All right. I have the first player token. Let's reveal the exercise yard. Did it reveal the commissary? This will just give me an auto green cube, so that's that that's freebie for me. Who's popping in? Off duty. Do not place a guard. Okay, let's check out the commissary. One, huh? I'm gonna put my four in there. Right? So I get the gold, and I need a blue, so the infirmary is next. So who's next? The infirmary. Four. Ooh. Why are you gonna, I'm gonna be down to, I'm gonna be up to three suspicion cubes. Shouldn't have lose, used my lookout there. I should have used my lookout there. Um, I need the blue though. I gotta, I gotta win this if I'm gonna get the 14. I'm gonna do a, Five and a two to make it seven. Gosh, that's stupid. Okay. 
Uh, who's next? Uh, the commissary. Here we go. What do you got? Okay, so you got a two to my four. I won that. That's a win for me. So I got the gold. Okay. I place three. I reveal three. I need to win the exercise yard. Uh, this might be a short run. It'll put me at seven. Yeah, let's kick this raid. This might be a short run, so let's do that. Reveal off duty. Okay. Just done the three. <laughs> We're done. We're done. All right, so one, I win this. I get another red cube. Keep the first player token. People back, you go to line. Two. I won dead gummit. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, I had the lookout. I don't take this. I had the lookout. So I have zero. They have zero because it's one minus one, which is zero. I have the first player token, so I won. And because I have the lookout there, I don't take these. You do. So ha, ha. Ha 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 ha! You get your resource, I get two. That works, that works. Um, here, let's see what we're dealing with. So five to my seven, I did win this, and I'll take these two. Uh, you'll go here. I get you all back, and I get two blues. Uh, five, you won this, that. And you get two grays. I won this. Wow, my crew won everything. <laughs> so you go back. I get these. Um, I get to trade in. So I have to get rid of one. I'm full. But I do get to trade in two to get. So I'm going to trade in the full and a green for gold. There we go. You won this for sure, so you get a goon. Uh, you were loving the dwarves, right? Are there any more dwarves? Nope. But you will take the cultist because the cultist gives you a gold. And then you get to... I didn't put anybody here to crap! Hey, Kanji, you got all the materials you need to win, but you didn't put anybody there to win! You don't have a blue. Can you craft any of these? You don't have any blues. I kind of locked you out of it. But you've locked me out of it, too. I am an idiot, my friends. And then you definitely won that, so you'll get. Good lord. And you do have to spend a resource to get it. All right. I didn't lose anything this round. Rat man goes away. A hobgoblin and a hobgoblin. Oh, I'm an Okay. Pinky ring. All right, I have to get that. <laughs> I have the resources to get it. I just have to get it. Oh, if I make sure that he doesn't have any blue. As long as he doesn't have any blue, he's not going to shoot up and score on me. As soon as he starts getting blues, I'm going to get destroyed. So, as long as I keep winning the infirmary. Hey, Dazir, how's it going? As long as I keep winning the, the infirmary, I'll be okay.
just got murdered in I Am In Hell three times. In a Ooh, I got I just recently got my copy of that game. So that's going to be coming soon to the channel. Uh, you've never seen Lockout? Oh, yeah, it's part of the role player world, but it doesn't integrate with the rest of the role player games like every other one does because you're playing the quote unquote bad guys. You're paying the people who made a poor decision and who to back, who's playing it back during the game. All right, so uh, you get one in the green. You get one, you get two, a raid happens. I have three, you have way more. So you're gonna lose eight and I'm gonna lose four. <laughs> All right, so two. One, one. All right, place our. I have the first player, so I go first. Here and here is all that matter right now, and here. I gotta stop and forget that. So let's take a look at this. Uh, I'm gonna just put my fighter straight in there because he's got five fight. Who's popping up off duty? Reveal this one. One. I have to make sure I win this one. And I don't want a suspicion token, so I'm gonna do five with that. Who's next? Commissary. Oh, sorry, the Chow Hall. One there. Wait, did he win this one? Did I give him his resource? I didn't give him his resource for winning that one. Shoot. So he would have been able to craft one blue. I didn't give him his resource. The highest scored one, which would be 18. So it would have been a gold, gray, green. Oh, I forgot to do that. So he is going to get 18. Turn. Did I put a card here? What the hell? What's wrong with me? Put a two here. Commissary, he's got a two, he's not going to take that token. Not going to the commissary. Um, set up the no, channel. Guard off duty. Let's reveal a chow hall, see what I'm facing up. Okay, so I'll take that anyway. So I won that. Then my final token will go. Oh, yeah. Here. Smithy. Okay. I take this yard still, so I get another. I punch tokens so I get things stronger. Got six of those bad boys. I win. Go here. You win this for sure and get your lovely suspicion token and you get greens. I win this, I get the suspicion token. I get two blues, but I'm full up. 
And I, wait, I wouldn't take the suspicion token because I got the lookout, you would take it. That's the reason why I did that. I got two blues, am I trading anything? Nope. Oh, just can't take him. Uh, you are definitely going to win this. We get two grays and these two suspicion tokens. Moment of truth. Yes. You just got two. I take the suspicion token. You're going here. Do I need a resource? I think I have everything I need to build the 13. So, nope, I'm not going to trade anything. This is the big one. Here we go. Oh, wait, I won this one. I won this. I'm going to take this. Can't have that. You're going to go here. You're going to spend two resources to get a goon, but I go first. And I believe I wanted this guy. I've got one. Okay, now you're going to spend two resources and you're going to grab that guy because he has gold. He's got gold! Well, no, he doesn't score the highest. He scores the highest, so you would grab him. And you have two resources. That goon and give me one of those. Actually, you wouldn't have taken him. Because he's going to negative you, you would actually take him. He, they always take the highest. So I have to look around to who had the highest. Um, cool. So I won that. You won this. Dang it! Dang it, dang it. Uh, you lost this, and I keep forgetting you lost that, so you would spend two to get a resource you don't have. You'll spend these two and get your blue. You don't have that. And uh, then take this from me. Thirteen points. Now I have to spend a stupid resource. Craft. I have to craft that one. No, I don't have two. Wait, take one scrap cube or potion from the supply. I spend that and this to get this give a cube to you, but then grab this card. Because I have the most valuables right now with those symbols. You won. Of course you did. One. I got a card. During the roll call phase, skip your turn without passing. I don't here, I'm not going to skip my turn. Dwarf, which is definitely what he wants, and a cultist. Ooh, that's a 19. Okay, so I have a gold and a green. I just need to win the smithy, and I can get it. If I win the smithy, I can get it. So I have to win the smithy and the cell block. That's a guarantee. All right, so what do we got? One, two, one, one. Okay. So I need to win the smithy and the cell block, for, and the exercise yard to stay first player, just in case there's a tie. All right, okay. I'll screw around today. Let's do it. That's all I'm going for this round, probably. Uh, I might get a goon. I think I'm gonna get a goon too. So I'm gonna go for the 
I'm going to win the Chow Hall, the Smithy, the Exercise Yard, and the Cell Block. That's what I'm going for. I got first player, so I'm going to go first. So we need the Smithy, the Chow Hall, the Exercise Yard, and the Cell Block. Let's talk about the Smithy. One. Why would you put that there? I'm going to put a four there. Yes. I'm going to put a four there. Infirmary. Why did I just look at that? I didn't need to. I have to look at this. So the infirmary gets a two, and you wouldn't take that suspicion cube. Next up, so the smithy, the chow hall, the cell block, and the exercise. Let's see who's in exercise yard. A three there. Ugh, might be a bad idea. Off duty. Okay. Next up, let's look at the chow hall. I'm not taking that cube. I'm gonna put a five in my lookout in there because I don't want it either. The exercise yard. Yes. Then uh, I'm going to put both of these in the cell block. Commissary. Five. All right. That's what I wanted. So I won the exercise yard. I get another strength. As you can see, he's becoming more powerful than he can imagine. I got that. And I keep first player. Two, you want this, so you get two greens. You want this, but you have the eyeglass, so you won't take the suspicion, and you get two blues. I won this, so I'll get the suspicion, and I get these two. What do I need? I need both of them. So I'm going to get rid of the blue so I can keep both of them. I win. Go here. This one. You got five. You're going to get both of these. And you get to get a color you don't have. Gold. This one, I won this, but I don't take it. You don't take it either, so it's going to stay there. But I did win it, which means I'm going to get a goon. And I think the hobgoblin was the one I wanted with. Yeah, I wanted the hobgoblin. So spend a resource to get, or spend four to get two. I'm just going to get one. Um, and yet another hobgoblin. Do I need? I need gold. Two and a green, so I'm gonna spend the blue. And get you so you can't get them. You'll have to, you lost this, so you're gonna spend two resources. Two. You're gonna get this dwarf, because that's what you wanted. That boosts his score. And we come here. <laughs> I won. Okay. So, two, gold one, I get the 19, and I get this lovely thing, if you can see it right here, it adds two more to my resource inventory. So, 19! Aha! Take that, jerk. So, I won this. But you get to spend the resource 
to craft as well. Uh, you don't have any... Why don't you have any? Oh, because I won that. That's... You can't craft either one of these. Thank God. You'll take the highest count one, spend the resource, do that. And go here, and then you're going to get victory point because you won't remember. Okay, looking good. That guy. Slide for final round. He's going to decimate me. <laughs> Scoring. All right, so suspicion cubes will start to go out. Boom, we hit a raid. You lose eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I lose four. One, four. Back to the center. Would be two there. One there. And that's it. Okay. At the end of the game, have the most iron items. Okay, so I need to win this. <laughs> that I need to win this round so I can get this as well. Okay, so... Stock. And... 17. Look at what? Two greens, two blues. And a... Uh, so I gotta win... Both of these. And that. And here. Okay. Okay. I can do it. Alright. Maybe I can win a goon too? If I have enough resources left over? Two, two, one. Yeah, if I win those three and I win the chow hall and the cell block, I can, I can make it work. I can make it work. All right, we're going to try this. This is going to be crazy. I don't have to win for it. I don't have to win the exercise yard anymore. That doesn't matter. Okay, so I'm first player. I go first. Keep forgetting to put one in the cell block. Okay, so... Let's see what's here. Zero. I'm going to put a three here. And I forgot to shuffle these. First place. I'm Sarah. I'm Sarah gets. Look out. Hey. Hey, Cyber Mage, what's going on? Uh, still all set up? No, we're almost done. Uh, I'm going to reveal the infirmary. You're not going to take that cube. I got to win the chow hall, so I need my lookout not to take those three suspicion cubes. And I need to beat a two. Four. Chow hall. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. Okay. And reveal the smithy. Five. We got two, four, six, seven. Put you there. Smithy. Dang it! <laughs> Dang it! Let's reveal. So you're at a five. Now well, I'm gonna hit you with the same. And I'll win that and not take those cubes. Exercise yard. Then I'll put dang it. One in the cell. Crap. Off duty. Okay. You win first player, you'll get your red. Arr! Yeah, you just got one point. 
two. I won this. I get two greens. This hurts so bad. This. I won this. I get the suspicion token and two blues. I had two, four, six, seven to your nine. You won this, and you'll get two of those. Mm. Amissary, you won that. Um, you'll get a color you, it'll be a gold. This one, I won. Neither of us are going to take those, but I got five. Oh no, you had the first player token! Dang it, he won this too! But no one will take this. Shoot! Is there a dwarf in here? There is a dwarf. Thank you. Alright, so I'm going to spend two resources. No, I'm not. 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 Okay, no, I'm not. Yes, I am, because these can't be the same resources that I spend for this. And I only have those blues, and I need three. Do that to get you. Get a green. Shoot. Okay. And this, I won this, so I get the craft. Well, I'm going to spend the resource so you cannot get that. <laughs> I'm going to put that face down. You go here. So you have to spend a resource. So you will spend this one to spend one, two, three to get this one. Uh, which gives you 10. Uh, that's 42. Yeah, you can't craft any of those. And then I straight up won this. That was a terrible last round. So I get to draw two, pick one. That might work. And then you just get one. Okay, let's go scoring. Oh my gosh. Oh no. Here we go. Uh, let's go scoring. Make sure I do it right. Okay, so claiming goals. Uh, the End game goal. Each end game goal are only scored during final scoring, which we are. Some end game goals can only be scored by one or two players. To score one of these end game goals, a player must have the most or second most items of a certain type at the end game. So nobody gets the smith because he used all his iron as well. And I don't get it because I don't have any iron either. So nobody gets that. Okay. All right. We score by leader goals, which is this one. So most valuable. Take this card if you currently have the most. So I have one, two, three. He has one, two, three, four. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I only get, I don't get any of it. Sweet. So he took that from me. Burned my soul. Then we do end game goals, nobody got it. Then we do goons. I will do, I just got one for a dwarf. Score points for each red cube. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Once again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Once again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. His stuff. Ready for him to destroy me with this? He's got one, two, three, four, five dwarfs. 
That straight up gives him one, two, three, four, eighteen points. Seventeen, eighteen. Then he's got three points for his bandits. One, two, three. And then score a star for each item you have. He's got four items. One, two, three, four. Ah. <sighs> What else we got? Resources. Each player scores one rep star for each scrap cube, potion cube, and iron cube they have to the left. These are... Uh... So this is just one, two. For gold, you get two stars. So he's got four. One, two, three, four. And then one, two. Tone cards. Each player scores one reputation star for each unplayed tone card they have left in their hand. I've got five. One, three, four, five. He does he does the AI doesn't get any tone. First player marker. Whoever holds the first player marker scores two rep. One, two. And I lost. <laughs> Just like that. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, so that is lock up. It's just kind of this the so you see where it really would shine um, multiplayer. Whereas you they have different groups. You'd put stuff down so you look at your hand. Nobody else can see it. And you'll say, "Okay, the exercise yard. I'm gonna put this here," and then the next person puts theirs down. And then when they do the phase, you flip them up to see who does it. Like, who has the highest score in that, who wins. And that's who wins. So it gets into this nice play of doing that stuff. It's definitely a worker placement, resource manage style game that builds this out. I like it, but I, I would say I wouldn't play it solo uh, because I don't, I don't want to do the race against my own score bit. But I do like it. So I would play this with my son, for sure. Like, we would play this game together to try to see who could get the high score, um, try to outsmart each other. So I see the fun in it. I just know that it's solo, not so much. However, they have, and th this was also given to me at Gen Con with Lockup, they have the expansion called Breakout, which it adds a new board. Um, that's the underground board, which, once again, if you play the role player adventures, it'll take you in there, right? So this one... Yeah, there's secret passages that run, and you're trying to find that. There are um, seekers that go out to look for stuff. And this board, which is basically this guy, pulls out and goes to the bottom, like down here, of the main player board. So you're still playing this, but then you can also come down here and search through what's going on. And we're going to play this probably on the 1,000 um, sub stream, but not today. So we're going to play it probably then, but not today because I still need to fully learn the rules on that one. But that is role play. I'm, I keep saying role player. That is lock up um, from, um, from uh, Thunderworks games. So this one, like I said, this one's okay. The artwork's cute. The artwork's beautiful. The artwork is just fantastic. Like it looks gorgeous. Um, and the card quality is the same as every role player card. Uh, so the card quality is still there. But overall, out of all of them, out of all of them for solo play, this would be in the bottom for me only because it's not, I don't think this game is meant for solo playing. I think they have a solo playing mode, but it's not meant for it. Um, so I'd probably say this would be, I would play this probably only with my son. And then that's it. I'll keep it because I want to play it with him just to see how that, how he likes it and see how it goes. But... That's probably as far as I'd go with it. Um, but other than that, that's pretty much it. So hopefully I didn't screw up too much. Uh, also, ooh, I almost forgot. I almost forgot before you, before you leave, before you leave. Also, I wanted to show you this because this is coming to the channel too. Uh, let me see if I got it here. There we go. Right now, their new Kickstarter is up, which is called Donna Vulos. Um, which is up on there. And then this one, this is another kind of worker placement style game um, where you are, this is like back in the old days before 
uh, king, the king and all that other stuff where you're forming the world. And it's one of the five players um, where you are building out the land of Ulos. So this is their next iteration in the role player series. And I, ha I have a review copy of this game that's going to be coming, but it's going to be coming the last day of the campaign. So that's the only time I have left to do it. And it's actually I'm actually going to play it after the campaign ends because the campaign ends um, very early in the day and I'll be playing it at night. But hopefully if I see it and it's something that when I play it, uh, it's something that you're interested in playing, hopefully there'll be the, the late pledge will be open and you can get in on the late pledge, right? Uh, but this game I will be playing. And they also announced a... Um, Thunderworks game also announced an expansion, the first expansion to Roleplayer Adventures, which I'm super pumped about playing because I love the Roleplayer Adventures. That was great. And that one will get played. So, but yeah, this is this. I have this game for pre from preview. Uh, they sent me a preview copy. I will be playing it. So you'll see it on the channel. It's just uh, if you're like, well, I want to wait. That's fine. Just know that you'll be waiting for the late pledge to be able to get the rest. Uh, just wanted to put that out there. OK. Okay, thanks everybody for joining. Um, this might not, you know, hopefully you like the game. Uh, like I said, it's okay. It's okay. But hopefully you liked it and enjoyed it. And if you did, you know, let me know. If I made any mistakes, let me know in the description uh, what's coming up. Tuesday, Marvel United lunch stream, and then back to Robinson Crusoe on Volcano Island. Uh, Thursday, I'm not sure. Um, I don't know if I'll be playing anything, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure yet. And then Friday, Gloomhaven Friday. Saturday, once I'm call shop chat and then painting. And then Sunday uh, is the 1,000 sub stream. And do not forget the giveaway uh, form is in that. I've already put posted that up there with the wonderful art by Kate. And the uh, giveaway form is in the description of that specific video. If there's, I've added to it since last night. I've added to it. So if you want to go update for anything you want, go and update it. If you haven't done it yet, you want to add in, go in there and add in and check it out and see how it lands up. But that is, that's coming up next Sunday. We're going to celebrate a thousand. We're going to play some games. We're going to do a lot of giveaway, a lot, a lot, a lot of giveaway. So we're going to do that and we're going to see how this stuff shapes out. So thank you everybody for joining. Thank you my patrons, my YouTube subscribers. And if you're neither, just come in and hang out. Thank you as well for joining. Uh, uh, I don't know if there was. Just got to make sure this boy. Yeah, Marvel United, Marvel United Tuesday. So I will see you all. Go ahead and make sure to uh, hit like if you like the video. Even if the game wasn't for you, but you like the video, hit like. Um, if you want to see more, it's coming. Hit subscribe and hit the bell to get notified when new stuff pops up. I'm always adding stuff. There's lots. The, the first stack, the first stack of... Uh, the the Gen Con um, hall is at the bottom. So now I'm going to be setting up the second stack to play through. So more to come. And October is the month of horror. So a lot of horror themed games coming. A lot of Arkham games coming. So we'll see how that goes. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for joining. I hope you have a great weekend. And I will see you later. It's our Commodore slogan here. Bye. -bye.